We start our bulletin with sad news. Former United Nations Secretary General Kofi Annan is dead. A man who led the panel of African eminent persons who brokered a power sharing deal between former President Mwai Kibaki and ODM leader Raila Odinga that led to the end of the 2007 2008 post election violence died at the age of 80 years at his home in Switzerland. He died after a short illness. And as Duncan Hamber now reports, Kenyan leaders among the President Uru Kenyatta. ODM leader Raila Odinga and former president Daniel Arab Moy have already sent their farewell tributes. Mention the name Kofi Annan and what comes to the minds of Kenyans and the African continent is this historic picture outside Harambe House stairs. <laughs> It was on February 28, 2008, when the soft-spoken Ghanaian announced to the country and the world that there was a political deal. As I announced earlier today, we do have a deal. This was the culmination of a politically painful and rigorous power-sharing negotiations between then-President Mwai Kibaki's PNU wing and Raila Odinga's ODM party following a disputed presidential election in which both parties claimed victory, a standoff that had resulted in a political turmoil that saw hundreds of Kenyans die and thousands displaced in the ensuing post-election violence. It was the African Union's panel of African eminent persons led by Kofi Annan that brokered a power-sharing deal between Kibaki and Raila Odinga in talks that were held at the Serena Hotel that saw the formation of the Grand Coalition Government. The real challenge now is for President Kibaki and Honorable Raila Odinga to work together to heal and reconcile this nation working jointly to implement the reform agenda on which they agreed, they have agreed, and sustaining the effort until the job is done. Ten years later and the world's top diplomat is no more. Kofi Atta Annan, who once served as the 7th United Nations Secretary General from January 1997 to December 2006, died early Saturday after a short illness. Former President Daniel Arap Moy described Anan as a public servant who was committed to peace and harmony for all mankind. He added that his commitment to resolution of conflict through dialogue will be his biggest legacy. On his part, President Uhuru Kenyatta said in a statement, and I quote, in this moment of sorrow, I condole with his family, relatives and friends. My thoughts and prayers out to them as they come to terms with this sad news. In his statement, ODM party leader Raila Odinga said, In Kenya, we retain fond memories of Dr. Anan as the man who stepped in and saved the country from collapse following the 2007 2008 post-election violence. In a statement announcing his death, the Kofi Annan Foundation described him as a global statesman and deeply committed internationalist who fought throughout his life for a fairer and more peaceful world. It is here at the Serena Hotel Nairobi where the world's top diplomat, soft-spoken Kofi Annan, for over a month, he led tough political negotiations whose culmination was the signing of that famous national accord for Kenya. Duncan Hemba, KTN News, Nairobi. Let's now take a look at some of the condolence messages sent by world leaders.
May his soul rest in eternal peace.